Welcome to CADtools.com. This video series will demonstrate how to create material data in AutoCAD and how to extract the data to be manipulated with Metalop, a material optimizer. After that, we will import the tag data back to AutoCAD. Now I will show you how to add material data to curtain wall elevation. I start with basic elevation with a jam, intermediate mullion, head, sill, intermediate horizontal. Once the data is included, I will copy the elevation and manipulate the data. Let's look at the details we'll be using so we know which data to input on uh, the jam. Uh, we are using a typical Conair 1600 uh, screw spline curtain wall. Uh, you can refer to Conair's website to download their details. On the jam, uh, the three members, three extrusion members, the back member, which is the uh, 003, 169003. We're using a one-legged pressure plate and a standard cover. And the intermediate uh, mullion, it's the same back member extrusion, but it'll have a standard pressure plate. Same thing happens to the intermediate head sill, intermediate horizontal, where those members all have the standard pressure plate, but the back member is the head and sill is separate from the intermediate horizontal. Back to the elevation. First we will do is copy the grouped tag. I go over how to group and why we would group the tags in the next video segment. So we'll copy the three data tags for the back member, pressure plate, and cover. And we will insert that into our elevation. We'll use the stretch command to move the tags to a position that doesn't interfere. And then the line we will extend to the mullion length. First thing we'll do is change the tag data. We'll start with the mullion back member. This is where I use the uh, ATT edit command because it's a simpler command for me. Uh, the extrusion is a 169003. Mullion length is correct and you know, we'll double click the you know the length field and that is plus or minus zero. We don't need to add or subtract any material to that. Horizontal, this is a mullion. Actually I like to abbreviate any little mull. The next one will be the pressure plate. It is a 162-505. And nothing's changing to the formula. And I call that a vertical pressure plate. And lastly, it is the cover, which is a 162 dash zero zero six nothing changes to the length and this is a vertical cover I separate my vertical members pressure plate covers from my horizontal ones you'll see later in the next data segment So that is the jam mullion. So then we just copy that to the intermediate. And while we're at it, we'll copy it to the next jam. 
So the jam's done. So all we got to do is change the vertical. The only thing that changes is the pressure plate. And that is a standard pressure plate, which is a 162 335. And another thing, I want to go back and change the pressure plates at the jam. I call them an L pressure plate because they are a one legged pressure plate. Next we will copy the three tags for this intermediate horizontal and I just change the line to a horizontal line. And then we will edit that data. This is a horizontal. This member is a one six nine zero one seven horizontal. J O R I Z. The pressure plate. is a standard pressure plate, which is the 335, and here's where I make it a horizontal pressure plate. And then the cover, everything's okay, except it'll be horizontal. Oops. And the reason I use the horizontal is that way my fabricators will can separate those when they cut them to know which ones they need to drill weep holes in. Then we will copy this one to the sill. And edit. Okay, the back member changes on the sill. So that's a zero one eight. Length is okay. Sill, you can call it head sill, because it is both head sill. Um, and the standard pressure plate is okay. And then we will copy this one as the head member. And that covers all the main members. And of course to finish the elevation we will copy the horizontals to the next daylight. And since it's symmetrical, that tag group is ready. Okay, now let's adjust just a few things to clear our tag information, so nothing's interfering, everything looks clear. Then we will go through and add some glazing data. And we already have a grouped glazing tag. And I'll just copy that in. Then we will extend the lines. We'll show you later how to do this Make sure all the lines extended and didn't stop hitting other lines. We want them to go to the daylight. This one, this one. I think it looks like it's all daylight. So now this elevation is complete. Um, let's zoom in. We have not done a redraw. To make sure. Okay, you can see how the glazing data, which has started as 12 by 12, 
and it now is at the daylight in the same way with this length when we do a redraw now the dimension fields update so now it's 43 and 3 quarters which is the DLO oh another thing we should do is on the pressure plates we need to make these minus it'd be DLO minus three quarters per the Conair installation instructions. That's why it's important we spend a lot of time on the first one till we get everything the way we want it. Point seven five. Minus point seven five. And then let's zoom in and do another. Um, I do believe Connie also does their covers minus point zero six two five sixteenth of an inch. We will hit it minus sixteenth of an inch. Cover minus sixteenth of an inch. DLO. And then we will go through and I erase data copy snap to end now the elevation is complete in the next video we will use the CAD tools data exchange program to extract the curtain wall data into a new Excel spreadsheet thank you for looking at the cadtools.com video and please take a look at the MetalOp Material Optimizer at MetalOp.com.